Hi, John Clements here, your IFTA board member from New England. I've been asked to give you a little bit of a crop update. Um, today is Tuesday, March 1st, the first day of meteorological spring. It's a bit breezy and overcast and in the mid 30s doesn't really feel like spring, but that's okay. We don't need to be there yet. Anyways, I'm here in this, uh, this is a planting, or a NC140 planting in 2014 with Honeycrisp, but regarding the 2021 crop, that's pretty much history. Uh, that's pretty much all said and done. It was a large crop here in New England. But what I'm thinking about now is uh, the 2022 crop and what we're gonna have. Now, you know, the, the big question is how many of these are flower buds on these Honeycrisp? You know, Honeycrisp is a biennial <laughs> beast at times. I should look and see what I had for a crop in here last year, but I think it was pretty good. But you can't tell with these buds, for sure on Honeycrisp, whether they're uh, flower buds or not. Sometimes they're just what I like to call blanks, and there's no flower bud in there that was formed last year. So uh, that's the big uh, question right now, particularly with Honeycrisp. Otherwise, the Max look like they've got a bud load, and um, the winter has not been too severe, so I'm not expecting any problems there. But I'm going to try and wait and prune these Honeycrisp so I can afford to do this <laughs> uh, at Pink Bud, so I can do some precision pruning and match the pruning to the uh, what I'm seeing in terms of what's going to be potential flowering and potential crop. So that's about the size of it. 2021 is history. <laughs> And the 2022 apple crop, I, I hope uh, we can look forward to a good one there. So that's my update. Uh, we'll probably tune in again. I'll bring you back here in, in May, and we'll see what it looks like then. Report to you. Okay, have a good day.